biggest thing I've learned is, and I was just talking to a couple gals about it, is women tend to um, not brag enough. And I would say that I, I'm not a big believer in men are this and women are that, but in general there does tend to, tend to be tendencies, and I do think women tend to be a little more meek and mild. We're raised to be not as competitive as boys. Boys are raised to be very competitive. Girls are raised to be nice. When women have a tendency to be very cognizant of feelings, we're very compassionate, we're very aware, very sensitive. And that helps us um, navigate situations. It helps us uh, understand our peers and work with them. We become very aware of opportunity. We can help solve problems because we have a, an ability to see beyond just the obvious. But that can also be our biggest detriment. And I mentioned a book this evening called uh, Toot Your Own Horn Without Blowing It, which is a really great book that teaches people how to brag without being over the top. And I know uh, I had mentioned to a couple gals here this evening that there was a woman in uh, Calgary who became the head of a very large corporation here. And she told me when she was promoted and became the head of this very large corporation, there was a never-ending stream of men coming to introduce themselves and tell her who they were, what they were really good at, and what job they should be getting next. And she said the most notable thing was there wasn't a single woman in the organization who did that. So I think women need to get out there and promote themselves a bit more. Because we're so aware of feelings and emotions, that when someone around us has a bad feeling, a bad emotion, we internalize it, not realizing that everyone who has that feeling is theirs. And as women, we need to recognize the one skill men have is that when something happens, they let it go. They don't take it, it's not theirs, because it's not their issue. And women need to realize we're no different. Um, caring's great, but it's care about yourself and not about what other people think, because they will, it will break you down. And you'll start to give up on yourself when you feel bad about what's happening around you. I think uh, that women just uh, need to have more confidence in what they can do and realize that the strength they have with within, we are all stronger than we know and we can overcome anything. So take the challenges, the obstacles and fight and get through them because there is. If somebody else has blazed the trail already, then there's no, there should be no hesitation in starting out on something new yourself. And if it's a mistake or an opportunity to learn, then pick yourself up and dust yourself off and uh, believe in yourself and set a goal down the road and get a good support system in place and make it happen for you because everything is possible. And one of the things I think women really, really sell themselves short is to not pay attention to their presentation of themselves. Um, when they get dressed in the morning, how do they want to be perceived? People do judge them. But what they don't pay attention to is what they see in the mirror is how they're going to feel and how they're going to succeed. Uh, it's not meant to offend, but I think a lot of women um, need to dress more appropriately in the office. Uh, and sometimes it's the younger women who have a limited budget that take those outfits they wear out clubbing and think that that's appropriate for the office because it's their best outfit and it just really is not because women need to feel good about themselves, that means dress professionally and confidently, and they will automatically start to succeed, and everyone around them will respect them, and they will automatically start to see a result. And I think that's the biggest mistake women make in any industry. There's no reason that even if you have a uniform that you can't make that uniform look its best. It can be pressed, cleaned, and organized, and if you carry it well, you look good, and that's professionalism. And women need to really recognize that in themselves. 